things the carpet will take and then the roller set. <coughs> so, off to the job. Probably not that no one's fashions. Up the air clock metal today, so that's the, the plan of the plan of action for the day as I go. There's a ceiling to do on the shop floor and then there's a couple of changing rooms. A couple of bits of plasterboard wall to sort out and that. So here all day but it's given rain so what do you want to look at this job last night and he said when can you start and I says I could start today if you really want so that's where we're heading now so I'll record a wee bit as I go and as I go with the day and um, I'll probably let, not too sure how much recording I'll get but it'll be hopefully a video a video's worth anyway so, so it's a wee round bit on the inside of a seal and then uh, we know wee small walls to do um, out in the that we change them. So we'll see you there. So we've arrived at Logan's. Logan's fashion, there's not even a. Oh, there we go, there we'll see. Show you just to where we're at. Did you see along? No, I haven't watched any else in fashion. That's where we're at today, we're up in beautiful cloth mills. Um, so, anyway, in a wee minute or two, I'll give you a wee video of what's going on this evening. Dust sheets down, pick up um, some carpet protector, um, carpet or the tiles need protecting stuff that I really don't want. Let's get them getting in there. So, see you in a minute. Let's just show you what I'm working with. I see them here. Tresses and all in. So, because it's bright inside down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drop of SPR, some that blue, blue magic there. And skim it. That's the idea. Obviously, I'm going to cover that channel layer because if that gets dirty, and I'm in bother. But the floor protector all down, that plastic stuff, so I'll keep the floor nice and nice and tidy. So we're working up in Logan's fashion today, so but you'll be able to go and get get the breakfast too. So that's the plan. Thursday and so we get this in. So we'll get the chest set up and then hopefully get it all mixed for time for 10 o'clock. That nice sparkly thing. That's the plan. So get cracking. So we update on how we're getting on the day. Uh, the ceiling that I showed you a moment ago, um, it's all on and I've trailed it once. Um, I'm not, I haven't, I can't take any recordings of, on the head camera with me talking because where I'm working there's a speaker right beside me and it's playing music so if YouTube, fi or if YouTube can give you a copyright strike apart for that there so <coughs> that's one reason there's no video with me coating it um, but it's all on um, and then so I'm going to wait till it's, it's finished, I'm going to go up in a minute or two, uh, trial it again and I just trialed another time and then I have to drop everything and I have no idea how many times I've been up and down the stairs and the escalators um, at Logan's today. And so we're working at Logan's fashion as you can see beside me, I'm parked up and right beside the, the road at the side of the building. So whenever you go in the, the front door, uh, you go up the escalators and then you have to go round. So obviously you have to go, you have to go in the side door as well so all the planks have to be carried from the trail where I'm at to the door at the back up the first set of stairs into the main shop up the escalator and then round to the right and there's four planks and two trestles have to go um so <laughs> I honestly have no idea how many times I've been up and down <coughs> them them steps to do um but so the ceiling's on it's in good good shape and a couple of trails will finish it and maybe scrape it um, and then I'll maybe show a bit of head camera footage of me putting on the the scrims and filling in the scrims and the plasterboard downstairs. Um, that's not being skimmed now, which is good. Um, that makes my life a bit easier. Uh, so that's that's all I'm going to do do the day. Once I finish that, that'll be me. I'll go home and well, I can't really go home if to need to go to the builder's merchant and sort out a get a price for a ranch fencing. Um, but, aye, that's, uh, that's all I can really do today. 
I thought it was going to be here most of the day if the, the walls and down the wee changing rooms they were to plaster in, but see they're just being filled, the scrims are just being filled down there painting over the top of it. Um, the only the only real thing that went and I that was a bit problematic was never I, I pushed the ceiling up. They hadn't they where the joists and the because it was a round ceiling I presume they had the joists running. I don't know what way they run, but whatever way they hadn't screwed them down. I uh, they hadn't screwed them down so that whenever I pushed it up, the ceiling was bouncing. I was able to push the wood that the joists was on up because whenever up you could see it moving up and then coming back down again. So. Don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna come out. It should come out all right as long as no one does some stupid and stands on it from above. But I don't think you can get up, even get up and above. <coughs> Otherwise, I maybe could have put a bracket or something, or right, like a wall tie or something that could have tied it, tied it down, stop it from moving. But uh, such as such as life, that's a problem. Nowadays, everyone just like oh, plaster will fix it. I had a pain for every time someone goes, the plaster will fix it, the plaster will fix it. I would be rich and I would never have to work again. But <clears throat> thankfully it's not all too often to come across a job like that where it's the choices are bouncing on me I could do, I couldn't do anything about it. Um, the only thing you do would take a ceiling down and reboard it. But no big deal, it's a Thursday, it's only one more day to the weekend. Um, so... The next video, more than likely after this here, um, will probably be of me rubbing up that job in Uh I think I've got it's all scratched. Um, so I'm just there's a fella I want to take with, uh, Johnny. He's coming in and he's going to give me a hand with it. Um, so the bit <coughs> that'll be that'll be fun. I always enjoy working with him. Me and him get on like a house on fire. Um, so that's when we, the last couple of videos has just been of me scratching because that's that's all there's. There's really been to it. Um, but see there's all the forecast was giving rain all day and it's now dry, so Oh well, what can you do? There's always some or someone that I was talking about. But I'll go up here and I'll try less here. I'll put up I'll try and get a, a bit of head camera footage of me trailing the trailing a bit trailing a bit that that seal, the round seal that you've seen at the very start and then uh never mixing putting stuff in for the Thingy me jigs, what you call them, scrims. Um, but, ah, that'll do. We'll go up here and I'll give a seal on the trail and finish it up nice and neat. So I'm just going to put this stuff on. This is. You do this before you start skimming all, but I just want it done like this here and left, so that's what I'm going to leave it for them.
couple of minutes. Now once I've done that, I'll do is run a wee brush. Down it. And then I would come straight over it and skim it. But say they're not wanting it to skim, they're just wanting that wee bit there done. So I'll do it for this video. So next one I'll do the rubbing up of the cable with Johnny.